it that is a game that you have to be smart in playing. Thank God I have the game, the game professional online. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, why do I need that you need to be smarter? One thing you need to do, a lot of a family land being sold, a lot of people have lost their money. Why? Because some people just see a land and they just double to it and they made payment, get their receipt. And after some years, because they did not have time, they have so many things to take care of and they abandon the land. So by the time they go back to do something on that land, the land must have been sold. So, and that is why I say you need to be smarter. If you want to buy a land from Omonile, so how do you do that? Yes, how do you do that? Yes, you need to find the authenticity of the land first. And how are you going to get to know if the land you are buying from a family is authentic or not? You need to ask whoever in charge, maybe the family, the head of the family, most of them, they want to, they want to buy a land. They will say, okay, I want to buy, I want to sell this land. Ask them, please, what is on this land? What are those things? Yes, so we need to shy our hand. Yes, what we must shy our eyes. Yes, you need to ask what are the, what are the, when they tell you that eh, most of the, the title they normally have, can I tell you, don't let them know that I tell you, they usually have receipt and survey. Go to any family land. You won't, they won't tell you that this their land at your home. Mm -mm. They won't tell you that, oh, this land have a governor concept. No. They won't tell you that, oh, this land has a, a cassette. All those important titles of the land, the family land doesn't have it. Why? Why? Because it's not owned by one family. It's owned by a group of family. So if this one say, let's perfect the title, the other one will say, ah, no, I beg the money I need, the money I want. So in that case, usually land from Omonile always have received and survey. So I want to tell you this secret for you to know if the land is genuine. I want to request for that survey. Request for that survey. When you request for that survey, the, all the information on the survey will make you to know if the land is genuine or not. From that survey, there are some important documents, important information that you need to see on that particular survey. Number one, you will know the owner of the land. Also, the plan of the owner on it. So you will know the owner of the land. If the land is owned by family A, you will know. If it's family B that owns it, then when the family names on that survey is now the same family that wants to sell to you, you begin to check yourself that uh -huh, it's like, like I'm on the right track. Another thing you need to check out for is to come on that survey. That survey is going to have description, geographical description of the axis, the area you are buying the land from, regardless any state you are buying the land from, either in the, in the east, either in Lagos, either in the, in the uh, north, wherever you want to buy the land from, you will see the description of the area. Then another thing you will see is the measurement. You will know if the family tell you that, oh, this land we have is the uh, four hectares we have. From that survey, you will know either they are telling lie Because that survey, you will show if it is one acre that they own, and they lie to you that it's four hectares. Can I break it down? Hectares means that 15 plots make one hectares. And acres, six plots make one acres. So from that from that uh, survey, you will know the number of the of the of the land, either they are telling lie or not. Another thing that you need to know that the information on that survey is the coordinate. What do I mean by the coordinate? The coordinate number usually comes from the longitude and from the latitude of the land. So the number will be on that survey. If you want to do your own search, take that copy of this of the survey. That those numbers on that survey, take it to the land registry of that particular state. They will tell you if the land is free from government acquisition or the land is a committed land. What do I mean by committed land? 
Governor, government owned all the land in any state. So the committed land is that, oh, this particular land, we don't need it. It belongs to family A, it belongs to family B. But we have some committed land that the government may not be using, will not use it for 20, 30 years. But it is written on the layout in the government, in the, in the land registry that, oh, this particular area has to be for, for hospital in future. This particular area will be for schools in the future. This particular area will be for police station in the future. Just like that, then we call it committed land. So if you take the survey, the numbers, which, call, which I call it coordinates on that survey, take it to the land registry, they will tell you, oh boy, don't buy this land, though. this land, thank you. This land, it is, it, 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 it is committed, though. This land, don't buy it, oh. Government will build a hospital in the future, though. So from that, from that, your, your survey, that coordinate that you take there, they will tell you to know if the land is free from government equivalences. So this is very, very important. And guess what? Family doesn't care. They will tell you sometimes if you want to buy, I have the, and my experience, when somebody wants to buy a land from Momonile, we, and I told the person, request for the survey. They keep on saying, eh, is in the family, the head of the family or the survey. Eh, and they will soon give you, just make payment. Please, don't pay. Don't make, don't make any payment. Don't lose your hard-earned money on that kind of investment, please. It's very, very important. So, if you now check from the land registry, they now say, oh, this land is free from government acquisition. Then you can go on with dealing, go on with your pricing, go on to now negotiate. Then when you now make your payments, that is why I said the point that you have to, Thank you, uh, my sister. You have to shine your eyes. The next thing for you to do is when you make payment, before you pay, take your own surveyor. Take your surveyor to that land. That particular area you want to no, we want to sell this land. Is this one that you want to sell? Okay, how many plots are you buying? Either you are buying one or two. Take your surveyor to that particular land. Let your surveyor stand on that land. When your surveyor stand on that land, that surveyor will plug the coordinates. If the coordinate number is the same as the one you've seen on your survey plan, then it is genuine. Tell that your surveyor that you want to make payment for this one. Then let your surveyor go and prepare your own survey plan with your name on it. Then you make your payment. So once that is done, the deed of assignment too have to be prepared before you make payment. All those two, the deed of assignment means that the the family is re, they are releasing the rights, the ownership of that land, that particular area you are buying to you. Please, it is very very important, and it's usually prepared by a lawyer. The lawyer will prepare that family of A want to release the the land to you. It is very very important well, after that one then you now decided to say you make payment and go ahead and do something on that land it is very very important do something on the on the land don't just buy land from a family and abandon the land don't just buy land from a family so-called omonile abandon the land what they will take from you they will just collect drinks the day they will sign the deed of assignment, they will say, ah, you are going to buy us drink, oh, just sit down, buy them whatever they like. But bear it in mind, if you want to lay your foundation, you will settle them. Because they, are, they never get tired of collecting from people that buy life from them. Of course they will not, because they don't have anything. Some of them don't have good job. Some of them don't have, they, are not, they, they, they don't have what they do. And that is why you see some of them. They almost they sell their lands, especially when there's a layer. They want to use money to buy RAM. And when they now use that money to buy RAM, when they are broke, and you want to do your organization, they will still come to you. Ah, I beg, hey, do something for us now. You to do. But make sure it's your own. You have already collected all the valid documents. And make sure you go ahead and build your land. It is very, very important. 